What up, what up? Wimboys here, and today I'm going to show you guys how we can activate Nanite on a tree sets by Quixel. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And so for this example, I'm actually using this set right here found on the marketplace. It's going to be the Mega Scans Trees European Hornbeam, but I already have a scene set up right here. You can see I have some of the trees already inside of my scene here. And if I look down here in my content browser, the ones with the alpha channel background, these ones already have Nanite turned on. So if I right click, come up to Nanite, you can see that I have it activated. And this is actually one way that we can activate Nanite. So if I go to one of these other trees that I don't have it activated, if I right click, come up to Nanite, you can see that it's not turned on. But I'm gonna show you guys another way that we can activate Nanite. And this is gonna be a way that we can actually preserve all the detail inside of our tree set, even when we're looking at it from far distances. So if I come down here and let's just double click on one of the trees here. And you can see right here, we have our tree set in here. And if I come over here on the right hand side to my details panel, let me drag this down a little bit. If I scroll down just a tad bit, you can see that we have our Nanite settings. So I want to enable Nanite, of course. And then right here where it says preserve areas, you also want to click this on as well. And then you're just going to want to save it. And that way we have our trees activated for Nanite. So no matter if we're up close or we're far away, we're still gonna be able to utilize the Nanite technology and not have anything fade out. And if you guys are new, make sure you check out my new course, Unroll Engine 5 in five days, where I take you from zero to hero in five days through a lesson plan of five courses. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I see you guys in the next video. I see you soon, take care.